Here in Portland, we have a lot to be proud of, and we're not shy about telling people all about it. Well, get this. A local PR exec has actually come up with the 100 things to do in Portland before you die. Ken Body sat down with the Portland author, Ann Smith, for this week's Where We Live. There is no place like home, especially if your home is Portland, Oregon. From smelling the roses at the Rose Garden, to having a Spanish coffee at Huber's, Portland's oldest bar, to taking a taste in Oregon wine country. There are lots of things that make Portland unique, many of which are in this love affair of a book, 100 Things to Do in Portland, Oregon, Before You Die. I would say coming up with them wasn't that hard. It was probably a matter of even paring it down that was difficult. Portland PR executive Ann Smith wrote the book along with co-author Allison Simons. Some of the 100 are no-brainers, like sampling Portland's countless craft beers or taking in a blazer game at the Moda Center. I've done about half of what's in here, so there's a lot yeah. more that I still need to do, even having been a Portland resident for as long as I have. So hopefully it spurs people forward to do a few of those new things that they haven't yet had the opportunity to. You will see quite a few food mentions. Smith loves the Portland food scene. The second edition also has updates on events like the Eagle Creek Fire affecting hikes in the gorge. And as Portland deals with more traffic and the homeless problem, Smith says she's not surprised that people still move here despite its challenges. Definitely, it doesn't change Portland being an amazing place to, to live and work and, you know, get to experience fun things and um, all of those certainly outshine any of the negative. So it's always a good time to cross a few more items off your 100 list. Ken Body, Coin 6 News. And you can find 100 things on Amazon, Powell's Online, and several other Portland bookstores. One of the most interesting things when I moved here is somebody told me you're either going to start with like a lot of the food and the drink in town, or you're going to start with some of the more outdoorsy things. Mm -hmm. And my husband and I definitely knocked out the food and drink. Yeah, first. The first couple of years, <laughs> and now we're really into the hiking and being now, outside. Now you're working it off. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and I think taking a child or a grandchild to Oaks Park Amusement Park, oh. which is one of the oldest amusement parks in the entire country is really something. That's one I thing think you that's do. one little gem that we have here yeah. in the city.